A Jackson City Councilman says he is declaring war on violence in the capital city. 16 WAPT's Troy Johnson live with details on a peace march and a rally plan for this weekend. That's right, Megan. Councilman Kenneth Stokes says the violence and murders in the city have to end now. He held a press conference today to make citizens aware of this Stop the Violence March. It's scheduled for this Sunday afternoon right around 2 p.m. There have been nearly 50 homicides in Jackson in 2021, well surpassing the number of murders in the city at this point last year. And remember, 2020 was the deadliest year on record in this city. Stokes says young people, old people, and all people need to be a part of this because violent crime has got to stop. We're gonna march from the state capitol to City Hall. Let's stop the killing now. Let's stop the violence. Let's stop this black on black madness. Well, we, we're inviting everyone. We want any, we asking the pastors, all the preachers, bring your churches. We will practice social distancing. We will have masks. We will make sure that you're safe. But we're asking any and everyone to get involved. This is your time to help stop the violence in the city of Jackson. Now, Stokes says people will gather to line up for the march at 2 p.m. at Mississippi Street and Congress Street, which, of course, is right near the state capitol. Participants will then march a route to City Hall. The councilman says if you can't walk, come ride in your car to be a part of the group. He says it is that important for Jacksonians to participate. Now, once the march ends at the West Lawn of City Hall, several speakers will address the crowd. They include Hines County Sheriff Lee Vance, Jackson Police Chief James Davis, and Hines County District Attorney Jody Owens. For more information, you can call Councilman Stokes' office at the number that you see on your screen. Reporting live in the studio tonight, Troy Johnson, 16, WAPT News.